My name is Siobhan O'Sullivan, I'm a research fellow in the School of Social and Political Sciences at the University of Melbourne in Australia. I came over to this conference to the UK to talk about research we've been conducting at the University of Melbourne into how frontline staff are delivering employment services both in Australia and in the UK. So I was comparing the Australian system between our first survey in 1998 and our second survey in 2008 and also between the UK both in 1998 and 2008 and we're getting ready to do a third version of the survey in September 2012 and so I was letting people know what differences we saw in both the Australian and UK systems over time and also how they compare to each other. So what are those main changes and differences? Well, our survey is very long and it looks at a lot of different things, but the thing that I was focusing on today and something that we've written quite a bit about is how much flexibility and innovation we find at the front line. And one of the things we've observed in Australia is that there appears to have been a, a reduction in the amount of flexibility and tailoring at the front line. So we find that frontline staff feel less confident to be able to make decisions for themselves and try new things for job seekers. And what I was explaining to the audience is that we haven't seen that same reduction in innovation in the UK and I was talking about some of the reasons why it might be that the UK appears at this stage to be a little bit better at uh, keeping the system kind of fresh and invigorated at the front line compared to Australia. So one of the things that I noticed in the presentations this morning was that the DWP really does seem to want to encourage innovation and flexibility at the front line in the UK and that's been a problem in Australia. So one of the things that um, we'll be really interested to observe from the University of Melbourne's perspective is whether the UK is actually able to, to uh, make that happen. So traditionally the UK have been learning from Australia when it comes to employment services and I think now with work program it's time for Australia to have a look at the UK and see whether the UK really can get the policy mechanisms and the tools right to get people at the front line to actually be really innovative and creative in what they do and if they are able to achieve that then you know maybe Australia um, can learn a thing or two from um, you know the UK. Thank <laughs> you.